what happened to this video something a little different today we're riding over in the moors of Northumberland uh, Blanchland Moor which is near the Derwent Reservoir I've set off from Beerbridge Car Park which is just outside of Blanchland heading up onto the moor and oh, yeah. um, picking up the trail which is called Carrier's Way intending following that over to Slaley Forest and then looping back to Blanchland about a 10 mile loop over the mowers yeah pretty sure it is I'm not gonna lie, even mate, that woman there just said, Don't tell you how steep it is all the way up here. <laughs> she was like, Don't tell them. <laughs> this initial climb up there, the roads here was pretty steep. Um, but we did take the same route coming back, and it was a whole lot of fun riding Sorry, back down it, as you'll see there. later in the video. I'll just turn mine The, the, the front wheels that used to go in that like, being higher than the back. Where are you left? I've left the GoPro bag on the top of his car. Look at all his batteries in, the cards. Oh, fucking hell. Fuck! Oh. Motherfucker, man. I can't record anything today. I just hope it's there when I get back. So after Adam went back to the car park to get his GoPro bag, uh, which was fortunately locked inside the car, uh, we continued on our ride and got up onto the mowers. As you say, it's quite a bit of water lying in places and mud in sections, but we had some pretty heavy rain in the days prior to this ride. All in. Hey? Yeah, there's a few back there, quite deep ones as well. through it. That one I will go through. Come on then guys. I've got wet feet now. How deep is it? If you put your feet keep you keep your feet down. level. Come on, everybody get through. Feet level and you might be lucky. No, I'm going out of there, right? I don't get my feet wet to start the ride. Here's character wood for it. <laughs> I'm not getting my feet wet to start the ride. Nah. <laughs> Why am I in why do I listen? Because it makes good content of the videos. I didn't realise it was a fucking bridge light. <laughs> well, we stood there next to it. I thought you were walking around in the swamp. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I have got wet feet now. Try out quick enough, man. I know. Now take a sharp left. Take a sharp left? Ah, through that gate then. <laughs> through here? Yep. Oh. Yep. No right of way for motor vehicles. Oh. oh lad, no motor great. vehicles, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Under the UK laws, this does not count. <laughs> 
So now up on the top of Blanchland Moor, things have levelled out a bit and eventually we should pick up a junction where this intersects with Carrier's Way which is an old okay. pack horse or lead mine route which crosses the moor and we'll take that trail to Slilly Forest Yeah, riding along there I had visions of me wheel sliding off down one side like that <laughs> I was, I was hoping somebody would just slide down into one of the ruts or something. <laughs> I unfortunately Gordon was in the air so I probably didn't get it on camera properly well, like but <laughs> see where we are a uh, bit further on and then we've got a we hit like a bit of a crossover and we're doing right and that <laughs> it hasn't rained much but look at the state oh, I don't know like, we had some heavy rain the last few days like but if it was raining now like it would be fucking wild wow. wouldn't it definitely want to come back now in the summer when it's dry and warm like I think it's going lush up here <laughs> red hot I'm not going down quick mate, so right, just carry on there. Just the camera footage of you. Let's have a look, I'll just check to see where we're because I'm sure one, there's a I'm sure there's one spot. cuts across somewhere. You need to lead the way, Steve. I do, don't I? Out. I didn't realise there was a bullet. Right. So where is it? Yeah, I'll let you go now, follow so you. So just beyond where they are, I think. Oh, there's right like now. a we'll find I think there's like a joke like a crossroads and we're taking the right. So we've got a few hundred yards to ride and we should hit the intersection with the trail called Carrier's Way and the intention is to take a right hand turn and follow Carrier's Way to Slaley Forest. And this is also the first proper bit of descending we've had so far on the ride. So we're quite enjoying the fact that we're not having to pedal and be able to pick up a bit of speed for once. Totally ignoring the instructions to turn right at this point here and we carried on down the descent not noticing the turn and we just missed it I know. Your hands are cold. Nah. <sighs> Have you got your gloves with you? Yeah? Stick them on. Do you want me to grab them out for you? That's all right. We're going back up now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know what? The right hand, eh? We've gone past it. We've gone past it. Wait, I didn't but see. That, I made sure I was looking all the way, and I didn't see. I think that's why right. I But that descent that wasn't bad at all. That was that, like good yeah. speed down there. Jack knocked the big rock out in front of us. What roll? I just had to dodge <laughs> that one. That was the only thing that was a little sketchy. Let's like come down there, mm -hmm. and we should have done that right hander there. But we're now at this point here. <laughs> yeah. But there's a trail there, <laughs> right? So back onto climb? where we were. So, right, so there's something on the right down here. So it looks like it's this grassy one here. <laughs> <laughs> 
So rather than push back up the trail, we decided to continue down, thinking there was another trail which would trail off over towards the right and head towards the forest where we intended to go. Unfortunately, when we got to the bottom, we realised that there wasn't a trail there. In fact, the trail went off in the opposite direction, and we did have to push back up to where that junction was near the old hut. <laughs> Fucking speed race. <rest. laughs> <laughs> that was like some little ride in Republic Art. Yeah, it's a dirt off and we missed it. Right, I did that half once. Go back and do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it definitely seems um, like well. Yeah, just do a comment, it'll be alright. <laughs> the tour is 350 yards ahead of you. 350 yards ahead of us. So now pushing back up to uh, roughly where that <laughs> hut is. So good coming down here though. Stopped there to have a bite to eat and at that point Gordon realised that he'd dropped his goggles at some point on this descent so he and Carrick headed back down again and recovered Gordon's goggles. So once it got back to us we headed back onto where we should have gone and we're now on to Carrier's Way which is the old lead mine route or pack horse route and you can see in front of us Sleely Forest in the distance. The intention was to skirt round the outside, <laughs> round the back of Sleely Forest and loop back, but with our detour down that descent there, I would decide we'd just go into Sleely Forest and then double back on some of the trails. Back to Blanchland. Quite challenging to ride this in places, it's very narrow with the heather encroaching right in, a lot of pedal strikes on either side, um, mix that up with rocks and things which uh, I believe Adam did have a bit of an issue pinging his tyre and losing air at one point as well. Yeah, very different to riding trail centres and more groomed single track that you used to ride in the forests and things. You bit like a sketch like weren't you? Hi. Bit loose on it, but I'll get the gear for the ball. Easy can't do that shit like. Hey? Proper skinny that isn't it? Oh, <laughs> it is. Touching your pedals on each side of it, like sort of knock you off balance. Oh, is that somebody's battery dying? Nah, that was me just switching no, off. Shut it off. Oh, yeah, I'm, just I'm sick of getting wet feet now. Oh, Did you just like drying out of it? Come on, man, Carrie. You're already wet. I'll find out. Oh, oh I can't hit that. Oh, I've beat her in like. Oh, look at this way, man. He thought he didn't get wet at all. Perfect, that man. You didn't even get your feet wet. Didn't even get me tyres wet that way. So now come to the end of the carrier's way and heading to the edge of Slaley Forest. So we'll have a quick oh, loop round here yeah. and then head back on some of the other trails back over to Blanchland. So just now having a quick loop round a couple of fire roads within the forest. And then we'll be heading back out onto the mowers and heading back to Blanchland.
<laughs> yeah, one thing we've had plenty of today is gates and big deep puddles to contend oh, with. Oh, 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 oh. oh yeah. yeah What's the look, do you think? Um, yeah. I don't think there's any option here, you know. There's always an option. Ah, <laughs> oh, bad! I almost made it! Rack it away! Nice goal, keep that right. Today and look where I'm at. Well, I did it. Whoa. <laughs> 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 I'm all We did however find a couple of little sections of off pasty sort of trail through the forest uh, but our time was a little bit limited we need to try and get back for Gordon so I'm sure someday we will head back across and explore Slaley Forest in more detail down there and it gets into a bit of the clearing and it carries on right so we'll go back tell them it's worth doing <sighs> yeah it just gets confusing coming back as it's just up there and it's down there see me quad lad nice send it Have a bit of this this is where somebody crashes yeah. and needs to be airlifted. Excuse me, bite the car in the back of the car. Any further down for where you land, you'd have been landing on your side. Fuck me. I thought you were going there. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's like you're so jangled to hit him on his ass. Yeah. Oh. Where's the lot? Are you running out? Yes, So now heading back across the moor on a slightly different uh, bridle way. Uh, which will join back up with the route we took coming back up. Uh, this section particularly you'll recognise from the beginning of the video which was an actual climb we're now actually getting the ride back down it. Looks like we left the moors just in time because 
as you'll see here we've got a bunch of guys going up on the moors to shoot the grouse This is the final descent for the deer. This is the tarmac Whoa, the section we came up at the very beginning. Yeah. Uh, pretty steep section this. Checking on my records on Kamut, I think I topped out at about 32 mile an hour at the fastest pace. Uh, the point when Carrick and Gordon passed me, I think they were around about the 37, 38 mile an hour going past us, which for me anything over 30 mile now we're on a mountain bike's pretty hairy but good fun good little blast to finish the ride off I was on the brakes just feathering. Just I thought I just didn't want to let off fully. I just as soon as I sat down and tucked over like that, I just started cruise like gaining. There he is. There he is. Keep going, keep going. I almost went to drop off one of them like the big bait. I was like, whoa, like you just went to go for it. I was like, no. I've enjoyed that. Hi. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video and stay tuned because I'm sure there'll be many more videos like this. I'm really looking forward to heading back over and riding that area again. There's so many different trails to ride. So, Steve Outdoors, I'll see you in the next video.